Venice, unique and fascinating. A city that oozes with art and culture in every sector. A glorious and troubled history, just like the one of its theater, La Fenice. In 1787, the Noble Association of Box Holders that managed the sumptuous San Benedetto Theater lost a judicial ruling against the Veneer family, the owners of the land on which it was built. And this association was expelled and forced to give up the Opera House. The association immediately proposed building a larger and more sumptuous Opera House between Contrada Santa Maria Zobenigo and Contrada Sant'Angelo. In 1790, a committee of experts selected the work of the architect Gian Antonio Selva from the 29 plans submitted. Work began in 1791 and was completed just 18 months later in April 1792. The new theater was called La Fenice, like the mythical immortal bird able to rise out of its own ashes to symbolize the association's splendid rebirth after its misfortunes. La Fenice immediately made its mark as one of the leading opera houses noted in Italy and Europe. But almost as if the name were the bearer of bad omens, on the night of the 13th of December 1836, the Opera House was devastated by a first fire caused by a recently installed heater. The association decided to proceed with its immediate reconstruction. It appointed the architect Giambattista Meduna and his engineer brother Tommaso to carry out the work, while Tranquillo Orsi was responsible for the decorations. Ten months later, in the evening of the 26th of December, 1837, the new opera house was opened to the public. La Fenice, reborn in the new artistic style of that age. In 1854, just 17 years later, an urgent restoration on the building's framework forced the owners to redecorate the opera house, which remained unchanged until 1996. On the 23rd of July, 1935, the box holder owners gave their shares in the Opera House to the Municipal of Venice, so it went from private to public ownership. On the night of the 29th of January, 1996, a second fire, this time arson, completely destroyed the house and most of the Sale Apollinea. Once more, La Fenice rose again, faithfully reconstructed to the plans of the architect Aldo Rossi, and was reopened on the 14th of December, 2003. È con immensa gioia che a nome di tutti i veneziani, degli abitanti di questa città unica sospesa tra terra ed acqua, vi do il benvenuto a questa serata eccezionale. Signor Presidente, il Gran Teatro La Fenice è restituito all'Italia e al mondo. From the time of the first opening on the 16th of May 1792, with the opera I Giochi di Agrigento by Giovanni Paisiello, 
The popularity of the Fenice grew very quickly and the theatre helped to write the story of the melodrama with premieres of numerous operas. Gioacchino Rossini composed Tancredi for La Fenice, along with Sigismondo e Semiramide from 1813 to 1823. Vincenzo Bellini wrote two of the ten operas that make up his work for La Fenice, I Capuleti e i Montecchi in 1830 and Beatrice di Tenda in 1833. Gaetano Donizetti composed three operas, Belsario, Pia de Tolomei and Maria di Rudens from 1836 to 1838. Giuseppe Verdi's Ernani was performed on the 9th of March, 1844, after which four other operas were commissioned from him. Attila, Rigoletto, La Traviata, and Simon Boccanegra from 1846 to 1857. La Fenice thus hosted the greatest number of Verdi's premieres. The Opera House hosted the first international festival of contemporary music from 1930 onwards in association with the Biennale d'Arte Moderna di Venezia. After World War II, La Fenice continued to distinguish itself by the quality of its programs and the caliber of its performers. The most important premiers, including the Rake's Progress by Igor Stravinsky in 1951, the Fiery Angel by Sergei Prokofiev in 1955, The Turn of the Screw by Benjamin Britten in 1954, and Intoleranza 1960 by Luigi Nono in 1961. La Fenice has welcomed all the debuts of the great names like Joan Sutherland and Maria Callas. Is a mind to